activity could be also used for sensing applications for the design of sensors. Yeah, thermoelastic effect. Uh, all these phenomena are well known by physicists. Magnetic signal domain, Hall effect, well known, magnetoresistivity, not so well known, but also very powerful Sul effect. The conductivity of the surface region in a semiconductor change when the magnetic field is applied normal to the current direction. Magnetoresistivity I mentioned this yesterday. They are commercially available magnetoresistors to measure magnetic field intensity. I tell you something, what some people are doing. Some people are very clever. For instance, their way of thinking, several years ago, professors Belverieri team from Brescia, they said, let's try to apply commercially available magnetoresistor made from very unique material. Let's try to expose this material to the, <laughs> to the certain gases. Maybe we can get some output signal. And they were successful. They were successful. They published the paper based on this. So the reason why I'm saying this, the reason why I'm saying this, because I tell you something. Labs around the world have different technological facilities. Some labs like Stanford or Berkeley, they are very rich. They have a lot of equipment. Other labs have not so much money. So what sensor people are doing working in these labs? They are trying to use commercially available transducers. Commercially available transducers. During my plenary talk, I mentioned that you can employ fiber opti fibers, optical fibers, which are commercially available to the gas sensor. You are buying a piece of optical fiber, depositing nanostructure material on the tip of this fiber and measuring absorption or reflection and designing very nice sensor. You don't need clean room, you don't need any facilities. Or buying so-called quartz crystal microbalance. We will discuss this in detail. Quartz crystal microbalance is a piezoelectric element widely used in electronics engineering. Because it's used through last, I don't know, 60 years or even more, more, before Second World War, for highly stable, to design highly stable generators. Disc, disc made from quartz, two electrodes, metal electrodes on both sides, a resonating element, again, when you will deposit your thin oxide nanoplatelets on this element, you can design very nice sensor with the frequency output signal. So the transfer characteristic will be frequency shift versus carbon monoxide concentration. And there is a there is an American scientist who spends all his life developing different type of gas sensitive layers. He's a chemist. chemist. So commercially available elements could be employed for design sensors. Magnetoelectric effect, composite materials consisting of a piezoelectric and mono magnetostrictive material, magnetic field can cause electrical polarization of the material. And others, photomagnetic effect, generation of electric field <coughs> perpendicular to both, and then applied magnetic field, and the incident flux of the radiant energy. Radiant energy. Nernst effect, Chemical sense signal domain, very important, because chemical sensors are extremely important. Extremely important.
usually in chemical sensing domain we are interested to measure in both gas and liquid media or liquid media we are interested to measure concentration of several of certain species concentration this is our major concern concentration of gas or concentration of ions in organic ions in a liquid media so we can employ change in the electrical optical thermal and magnetic properties of the solid which might occur in this in this case so the effects which could be applied volta effect when two dissimilar metals are brought into contact with each other a contact potential is established let me let me tell you the story of the ion sensitive field effect transistor ion sensitive as you know ordinary metal insulator field effect transistor misfet or in the case of oxide mosfet there is a sandwich sandwich we have a silicon substrate silicon substrate we have two we have a source and drain source and drain we have a dielectric in the case of silicon silicon dioxide for instance and we have a metal gate and voltage applied to the metal gate is causing modulation of current flowing between source and drain widely used transistor in electronic engineering so what peter bergfeld from as head of university what he did some malicious people who didn't like him they said that by accident by accident one day he was sitting in the lab yeah of course this is probably not true <laughs> by accident he dropped his he was sitting with the mosfet and looking at the screen of the scope and by accident he dropped this mosfet into the electrolyte and he observed that the drain current versus gate source voltage characteristic shifted on the screen and it was his discovery of ion sensitive field effect transistor because what he did later he removed metal gate he removed metal gate and he replaced the metal gate by electrolyte by immersing this into electrolyte so electrical field coming from electrolyte was modulating current flowing between source and 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 drain yeah he replaced metal gate by electrolyte and he showed he showed that employing in addition some membranes some membranes he is able to selectively sense concentration of several inorganic ions in electrolyte like potassium sodium um, calcium and others as well as he was able to sense other people were able to sense the concentration of some heavy metals in in uh, liquid media like cadmium mercury lead and others which are very dangerous for our life so it was the history of of isfet and isfet are isfet are slowly many years passed away because commercialization is not easy as you know from the laboratory from the university laboratory to the full commercialization sometimes takes it takes 20 30 years it takes time you have to invest money you have to you have to test carefully many sensor parameters 
and to develop a product. And to give you one example, in our watches, in our watches, we have a quartz. Quartz is used, yeah, to measure time precisely. Kurt Peterson from Stanford Uni is currently having in mind very huge market. Quartz is not so cheap. Quartz crystals for this application. So he, in, he has in mind huge market and huge profit and he's developed, he's trying to replace quartz by other material. And I know that he works, he's almost close to the success, almost, almost. So very soon the quartz will be replaced by his product, but he works on this last 20 years, last 20 years. Difficult job. Galvanoelectric effect, chemodielectric effect, chemofield. Chemofield, conductivity of the surface region in a semiconductor is changed when immersed in electrolyte or subjected to the gas. So all these effects, many, many others, many, many others, not listed here, are, could be used for sensor design, for sensor design. Now we will, we will discuss, we will discuss because there are many people in the audience, if you agree, of course, because I can jump, I can jump into other subjects, but if you agree, I will discuss static and dynamic properties of sensors, because it will show you again the full picture of this, of this area, because life is not so easy that we, in the university lab sometimes we are measuring only, only sensitivity and dynamic response. Many other parameters should be taken into account and it is always trade-off between these two parameters. So at the end of this, this part of my talk, I will show you the list of parameters for the ideal gas sensor, ideal gas sensor. And I will prove that this is only a dream, dream. Because this is always trade-off. If I have to have a good, very high sensitivity of the gas sensor, it's on the expense of the sensor accuracy. Nothing for free. Always trade off. Okay? It's also part of the sense of thinking. So let's make a break. And uh, now, I am here, so if you have any questions, if you need interactions with me, I'm happy to interact. Yesterday I interacted with Krishna. Yeah, I will interact with other <laughs> PhD students. So I will, I will memorize their names. And we will stop to harass Krishna. <laughs> we will start to harass other people. That's right? So let's make a break. <laughs>